guys, you're welcome back. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. Recently, we have seen many famous personalities praising qualities of Islam or the practices their Muslim friends perform. Joe Rogan praised Habib for his dedication and steadfastness in religion and praying five times a day. The world famous boxing promoter Eddie Hearn said in an interview that he's impressed by Islam and Ramadan mm. and aspire to learn more about Islam. A few years back, Will Smith was astonished by the call of Adhan and in a video, Andrew Tate was seen praising Islam mm. and its values wow. before converting to Islam. Now the famous American YouTuber Jimmy Donaldson, popularly known as Mr. Beast, was also seen impressed by the values depicted by his Muslim camera person. In the video where the YouTube star was talking with his fellow mates, he mentioned that he is astonished by his cameraman, Tariq, and his discipline towards his religion. Discipline in the sense that he doesn't drink like everyone else does. He's devoted to his religion. He cares about it and he actually practices what others only preach. He added that when he sees Tariq like that. It's just kind of hard to tell what's right or what's wrong, like yeah. religion-wise. There's so many and I don't know. I believe there is some kind of God, but yeah. how do you know? <laughs> it is admirable to see how devoted he is, so. Yes. Like, he doesn't he doesn't drink, he doesn't do anything. He, he's actually, he's not one of those people that just preach it, he actually follows it. Talking so about my boy. sometimes it does make me go like, damn, like there's something there, like he really cares a lot. He is compelled to think that there is surely something in it. If we look at the history and background of Mr. Beast, then we can find that in his earlier days, he used to add biblical quotes on his logo, mm. which show that he himself was very religiously following Christianity. Later, he removed the quotes from his logo and said in a podcast with Logan Paul that he doesn't consider himself religious mm. and labels himself as an agnostic mm. as he's unable to understand the concept okay. of universe and everything else. It is too big for him to comprehend. What about fun? I'm not, oh, really, I'm not religious. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So are you saving yourself from marriage? <laughs> I'm not religious. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> At all? No, I'm not. What about no. that Jesus? No. He's saying no. Yeah, like, like are you atheist? You just ask the same question are different you, ways. The answer's the same. Atheist well, or agnostic? I agnostic. Like, I mean, the the place is the universe is complex, and yes. like it's hard to believe someone didn't do it, but like. I don't know, there's a lot, it's, it's you know. You're open-minded, huh? So, yeah. so you believe in a creator or some sort of being. But it's just like hard perhaps. to tell. I mean, there's a, there's a lot out there, you know. He's just, he's agnostic, so he doesn't or, have proof to, to push him in either hmm. direction or, or another. Hey. But. An extensive study done by the Pew Research Center stated that people are leaving Christianity in droves. About 106 million Christians are expected hmm. to switch affiliation from 2010 to 2050, while only about 40 million people are expected to enter Christianity. This research also projected that Islam to be the dominant religion hmm. in the near future if the current trend of people leaving Christianity to become atheists or agnostic continued. Why is that people do not find satisfaction in other religions while being extremely devoted to it? Why other religions do not give proper answer to the questions based on creator and the creation of universe. Why these famous personalities are impressed by the simple values shown by their Muslim peers? The answer being really simple. It is because one may only attain peace and tranquility with only Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, the ones who believe and their hearts are peaceful with the remembrance of Allah. Listen. The hearts find peace only in the remembrance of Allah. When we Muslims remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through our salah or dhikr and abstaining ourselves from the haram, then we beautify ourselves from within. Hmm. When we remember our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also remembers us. Therefore, remember me and I will remember you. When Allah remembers us, how can our actions and practice go unnoticed? Those who remember Allah experience a sense of peace and it is visible upon us. However, it is truly remarkable that those who are careless 
and inattentive can go on without remembering him. They are dead, lifeless, and they know not when they will be raised up. Those who are in pursuit of this dunya are not able to understand why we Muslims are not like them. They are surprised by the fact that we are so devoted to our religion and our hearts are at peace. Shaitan has made the disbelievers believe that money and fame and party life are the means of happiness. While this is an absolute lie, mm. one will never be truly happy if his heart Connected is not connected to, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will live a depressed and confused life even if he is gifted with all the luxuries of the world. And whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed, he will have a depressed, that is difficult mm. life and we will gather, that is raise him on the day of resurrection blind. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who constantly remember Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give hidayah to the disbelievers. Ameen. That's it for today, brothers and sisters. I hope Wow. Hmm. I just imagine how people quickly switch from one religion to the other. I'm sure there's more to it that Mr. Beast is not telling us telling us there's more to it there's more to it actually because somebody that was a devoted christian that likes to put um christian you know banner on his youtube and you know promoting jesus all of a sudden he's not religious how what happened there's more to it that he doesn't want to tell us and wow and he made a short comment about it but what me i just got was a was that part where he said it's just neutral for now maybe he's just trying to search for the truth and he has all found you know this life and eh, when we if we let the worldly things take over us eh, we we'll start doubting god we we'll start doubting the existence of god we we'll start you know doing all sorts of things that's why why when you are d doing well in life don't you ever forget god because when you lose focus or you lose track before you know it you not like in your mind you'll be like there's no god but the same god is the one not blessing you when you were not blessed there was god but if blessed now i'm not i'm not trying to refer to mr beast i'm just saying in general that that's what most people do well, this was a beautiful one beautiful video i really enjoyed watching thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye